<laughs> we've got we've got something really really cool in today it's from a tool company we do a lot of reviews for and it's vivor and they sent us over something that's new so this is going to be pretty impressive i believe this is going to be a plasma cutter oh <laughs> let's get into it yes Yeah, so uh, I've, I've cut the tape and I started to look and I was like, you know what, we need to get this out of the box, get it on the table here so we can all have a look because I haven't even seen this before. So it's a pilot arc, which is really good. That's just, you know, you push the button and she just blasts the plasma and cuts metal. So oh, should be should be good. Let's get it out on the table when we and uh, have a look at what we got here. Yeah. Okay, so everything's out of the box. This is uh, the new generation from Beaver. They have sold these plasma cutters before, but they actually sold out at one point. I think it was earlier this year, as a matter of fact. And this is the new one that came in, and this is like the updated plasma cutter, the the 50, uh, P, P50 or 50P. They have two. Uh, one is without the pilot arc, and the other one is with the pilot arc. And one's a little cheaper than the other, of course. I guess depending on your flavor, I'm not really sure why you would want to uh, buy the other one when the pilot arc is just so cool because you just pull the trigger and boom, it just shoots plasma and you don't have to make good contact with steel to cut it. So that's, you know, and maybe somebody can comment and just let me know uh, how they feel about that because I've always felt the pilot arc was awesome because it's like a torch, you just, you know, cut the metal. Everything comes in two pieces. This came in the box well packed with foam and of course right beside it was the box with all the accessory parts you're going to need in order to run the plasma cutter. So uh, the next thing I'm going to talk about real quick is the 220 plug. Now you do have an adopter so you in, that's included with the package which will adopt you to a 110 plug. That's going to be a heavy duty plug and I would imagine you'd have to keep the current really low so you don't knock the breakers out of your house. You know, like this is something I, I don't recommend, but you know, Beaver includes this even with their welders and stuff. Now, the plasma cutter, I like using 220, uh, especially for something like this that's, you know, can, can put out some pretty high current uh, up to 50 amps. So, you know, yeah, you don't want to get, you know, too high with that. It includes a nice grounding cable, which you'll need to obviously ground the metal with, but you also includes the airline that you're going to require because you're going to be running a little bit of light duty, you know, compressed air to blast the plasma through as it's, you know, for cutting. But they also include all the nice little clips uh, for doing all the plumbing work for this uh, tubing. And of course, big, long, nice, heavy cable that's going to become the uh, arc, the, the plasma cutter itself. And we also have uh, a couple little wire stands here. Let's see if I can get them out of the box. Ooh, they pack these things really well for me. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah, and these are uh, little offset stands that you'll put on the end here so that it'll help you to uh, stay off the metal with the plasma cutter and keep the head clean and sit there and chop it up. Even a little roll of Teflon tape. I think Beaver for the price, it's just, it, you know, for a pla if you want to get into a plasma cutter, I highly recommend, we're gonna have a link below uh, for this machine and check the price because the Beaver's plasma cutters work nice and they are very inexpensive. In fact, we've got their three-in-one welding machine in here which has a great price on it. And uh, it's uh, a MIG, a TIG, a stick. And it costs less than just buying one of those machines from one of the you know other companies. Like they said, you know, half price, tough tools. Right? And we've also got a nice uh, air regulator system. Again, with plasma cutting, you bring your compressed air in, which, or your gas, uh, they say, they call it gas, compressed air is all I'm going to be using today and you bring that in and you can dial it into a couple of a uh, couple of pounds because you really don't want a lot of air but we'll get into that when we get all this hooked up this is exciting I gotta get the uh, welding table out I guess and because we're not going to be doing this on a wooden bench or we'll burn the place down <laughs> so let's set it up and take a look at the this is I guess the 50p or pilot arc plasma cutter yeah I've turned the plasma cutter around and I just wanted to show you the installation for the uh, compressed air that will be coming in here. And you also, of course, Viva sends you this nice regulator kit which you got to put together. Now, I don't use all their parts because I have a, a quick connect for my air system so uh, I put my own fitting on here. 
It was a little tight, but I put some Teflon tape on and put it on, which reminds me, the Teflon tape that is included from Viver, um, Vivor has better Teflon tape with their kit than I've ever seen. I don't know where they're getting their Teflon tape from, but that stuff is, that stuff is heavy duty. So the first thing I wanted to show you, there's a notch with this extending down, and that's what you want when you install this. And the reason for that is so that the square part of the body of this will lock against that so it won't uh, have a tendency to turn. And obviously there's two screws furnished right here that we will take out so we can put that bracket on. So as soon as we come back, I'll have the bracket mounted. <laughs> okay, so we've got our bracket mounted and there's a square piece underneath here which is going to hit the back of this in order to lock it, sort of like lock it in position. But uh, put your fittings on first and of course your uh, other fitting here. This is the in, this is the out. It's well marked, so there's no problem. Shouldn't be any problem there at all. Obviously the air is gonna be coming in here and going out here, and then we're gonna be hooking up a piece of pipe or tubing that will go from here to the nozzle down here where the, where the gas feed is for this. Mm -hmm. But also put this in a vise or something and then put your air gauge on, your pressure gauge, excuse me, pressure gauge on here where the where blue Little blue cap, we'll be pulling that out of the way and then we'll be putting Teflon tape on this and sticking this in here. I'm gonna go over to the workbench and put this in and then we'll bring it all back to assemble. Okay, so we're all set. We've got our pressure gauge, we've got our in and we've got our out. So now we can go ahead and just install this. And there's a plastic nut that comes off and there seems to be really no top or bottom to it, but I'm gonna just, I guess just screw it on like that. And uh, that way we're, were installed with this part at least uh, because it's only plastic I would I don't know finger tight I don't know if you can get it very tight this has to be pushed down in a lock now when you pull it up it'll allow you to adjust the pressure so right now I'm gonna leave it locked down because I think we've got well we'll find out when we get there now we got to run some tubing from here to here which is included with the kit and also of course you have the fittings and the, the clamps and everything to put on here so we just need a short piece of tubing to go from here to there. Okay, so I've got my airline on now. Uh, I've snugged these clamps up. I don't put them on really super tight. You don't need to because you don't have a lot of pressure on this side of the gauge. You know, you're gonna be regulating your pressure here. So from here to here even, it's kind of low pressure, but I still snug them up all the same, just a little bit, not, not tight. They're just not real tight. Yeah, real quick here at the Cut 50P uh, plasma cutter. The cable that comes in the packaging, I took it out of the bag, of course, and put the ground on, which just plugs in on this end. Now the cable, everything else plugs in over here, including this little wire, which is your pilot. Uh, if you're not familiar with uh, plasma cutters, which I'm sure there's a few people that don't know too much about them, uh, here's the plasma cutter. This is, the, this is a guarded trigger, so you don't hit this until you actually want it. You'll be hitting the trigger, you can hear the click like that and that's gonna blast this hot plasma right out of the tip right here and go right through the steel. And of course, using a little bit of air pressure, it'll help to blow and clear the steel away as you're melting through. This little guide here is really good because when you put uh, a straight bar or something down, you can follow it along like this and get a nice straight cut with plasma. Doing it by hand, uh, <clears throat> I've always found it makes kind of a mess on me because I'm not, I'm not very good at uh, drawing a straight line apparently. So we're gonna go over to the uh, metal bench and we're gonna cut a quarter inch piece of steel with it just to see how it works. A Little bit noisy, kind of like a welder running. Uh, I've got the plasma cutter set up. Now I've plugged the machine in obviously, we've got 30 amps, which is what we're just set up right now. Uh, I've got the compressor, which is another good thing. You only need a small compressor. You don't need a great big one like I got behind me here. And then here goes the, uh, we'll just fire this off so you can get a good look at what plasma looks like when it's coming out of the tip. Is that cool or what? On a switch. So instead, of, instead of having oxygen acetylene bottles and cutting tips and everything else, plasma cutter, electric, you're all set to go. Now, I need uh, one thing that I, I don't see it here. I thought they would send some goggles, but I use a welding helmet when I'm cutting to protect my eyes because this, this is like welding. It's, it's bright, it's too bright for your eyes. So you really need proper protection. Now. I'm gonna cut across the steel here, and we'll just see how that looks.
I finished the cut, I'm letting the steel call cool down a little bit. You can see you've got slag. The slag will be, you can knock that off with a uh, chipping hammer or something like that, or even another piece of steel, just ram it a little bit and it'll knock the slag off. You've got slag on the bottom here. Just like a cutting torch, you're gonna get that, you know, that overflow on the bottom that way. But other than that, you can see the quarter inch piece of steel. And I took my time, went real slow, I've got the machine cranked low at 30, 30 amp, I guess right now setting. I could crank that up and run even hotter through there and faster, but I just wanted you guys to see, you know, this is what a plasma cutter does. Now, hopefully, yeah, I can still feel the heat. <laughs> she's still pretty, she's still pretty warm, but uh, let's see if we can get that out of there. Yeah, pretty warm, and that way, you guys can take a good look at the uh, situation there and you can see the plasma cutter just went you know right through the metal kind of thing but it's really fast it's a lot faster than you know using another type of uh, saw or whatever and don't mind me I'm just throwing stuff in. I'm just throwing my tools around today <laughs> typical day okay I thought we might have some fun so I've set this up uh, what I'm gonna do is hit this with the plasma cutter this way in other words straight down through you know, infinite amount of steel, well, about two and a half, three inches of steel here, but this is a quarter inch plate where we're gonna drive it straight through. I'm gonna put a bunch of heat on it and just see how far down that cuts. And then we'll measure it or something and see how it works out. I'm gonna crank the plasma cutter up. Uh, where are we? We are at 30 before, so let's go up. Uh, yeah, let's get crazy. Yeah, and just see how, let's see how that looks, because that's gonna be, yeah, that's going to be insane. But let's see how far down we can get. <laughs> All right. You get the idea. Whew. Man, that sucker went down through. All right. Yeah, but I just wanted to give you an idea or feel for the plasma cutter how you can just blast metal away, which is awesome. All right, so let's see how we did. Uh, I'm going to measure this and just I'll just read it off to you. Okay, it's an inch and a half. It's almost exactly an inch and a half depth, depth this uh, slot. I have cut half inch metal with these plasma cutters before. And they're not rated for it, but as you can see here, you can sneak your way through sometimes. It might be a little messy because you, you know, you're going to cut pretty wide open, as you can see there. It's not going to be a beautiful straight line like a saw, but you can do it. I brought this back over to the bench because I wanted you to see a couple of things about this. Uh, one thing that I've never been too happy about with these plasma cutters, and they're still doing it, is that the power cord is, you know, it might be six feet long. I don't know. It's it's just I wish it was a little bit longer like a 10 foot cord something like that it just seemed like it would be better but um, on the same notice the look, look at this this is the grounding cable and again it's about maybe six feet long something like that and then the actual plasma cutter <laughs> yeah it's uh, you know about 12 15 feet long you know so and if you're going to use this, the ground needs to be with this anyway. It's basic, well, you know, within some distance. So you can ground and you can run six feet away with the plasma cutter, I guess. I'm not really sure why they made the lengths the way they did. But this is the new improved Vibor. So I want to thank Vibor for sending this over to us. because Oh my God, I love plasma cutters. They are, they are terrific. And for the price of this, yeah, I think in the long run, you'd save a lot of money. It's a lot cheaper than say running from you know a, a bottle of oxygen and acetylene and having a torch set up and all that for burning and if all you're doing is you know burning and cutting you'll find the plasma cutter is just so nice you just hit the trigger cut it's a done deal you don't need a big compressor like the one I have like I said just a small you know a couple of horsepower whatever compressor will easily run a plasma cutter that's the beauty of it you know you don't need a lot of air pressure in fact uh, that was one thing I meant to do and I'll tell you what, I will show you where the pressure gauge is on this because this is something that a lot of people might get fouled up with. I found that the lower air pressure seems to make the plasma cutter work just that much better. If you get too much air pressure, you kind of knock it out. So I'm going to turn the machine around, hook up the air, and I'll just show you how much pressure I was just using just now. And there you go. Um, 
it's just like it's like on one pound or something it's really not uh, it's really not putting out a lot of air pressure it's very little and that's that was the whole point of that was that it's just it's very little air pressure on the gauge in fact look how low the gauge is and you just use that or just a little bit more up to about that first two even and I find that's plenty of air pressure for this particular model it works just great okay the other thing I brought over to the bench besides this was uh, also I brought my it's an auto shade uh, shield helmet from like Harbor Freight or whatever and I just use this whenever I'm using the plasma cutter and again like I say to protect your eyeballs uh, but there's also things like leather mitts uh, you could even use your welding jacket if you have one of those leather heavy welding jackets that kind of thing it wouldn't hurt because you are you know running some pretty hot steel through these things the beauty of it is like I say is the price I invite you to take a look at that link below and the price on this thing is actually for a plasma cutter for the features and the power it's like it is amazing and I had this thing down to 30 amps and you can see we were we were still notching and cutting out quarter inch steel like you know no big deal so great little item and uh, I really this is probably I'm gonna say this is the best plasma cutter we've ever had in here and it's from Viver and it's an upgraded one because they did sell out uh, I think it was earlier this year they were totally sold out out of stock for a while and then Viver made apparently some spec upgrades or something and they came back with this unit so it's very similar to their old unit very similar looking but I do believe this is a uh, you know a new improved unit whatever so that's great Hey, thank you for watching Cotton and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell. And uh, psh, I'm out of here. Man, that was cool. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> Over out. <laughs>